Hello to everybody out there in YouTube land. Welcome to episode 14 of the President's Play Pokemon Yellow. And of course, a special hello to every Texas Rangers fan out there. World Series champions, baby. We finally did it. All right, Bush, I know we wanted to give you a chance to do the intro in your first full episode, but that was not it. First off, you're supposed to say what we're doing this episode, and did you really have to plug the Rangers winning the World Series? Oh, I'm sorry, Donald, but I'm just so excited. I even got to throw out the first pitch in game one. I don't know if you've heard, but at yes, one George, time I was an owner. We know at one that. time you own 2% of the Rangers. We've heard it a million times. You don't need to tell us again. Also, I wouldn't be talking about that first pitch, George. I'm sure we'll get demonetized by Fox if we show it. But you didn't even throw from the mound, and you spiked that pitch before it got to home plate. In 2001, you threw off the mound at Yankee Stadium before a World Series game and threw a perfect strike. What happened to your arm? We're all getting older, Biden. You of all people should know that, Grandpa. If I threw out that first pitch, I would have thrown a 90-mile-an-hour fastball right on the corner. Joe. If you threw out that first pitch, you would have needed to stand five feet away from home plate to get it to the catcher without bouncing it. Biden, I pray you throw out a first pitch next season so that I can put that on repeat during all of my 2024 ads. I would probably just play a video of it on the debate stage every time I got asked a question and not say a word. Oh, you guys don't know what you're talking about. During my weekends in Delaware, I throw batting practice to Hunter and he hasn't hit one of my heaters yet. Probably because he's holding a pipe instead of a bat, and you're probably holding a teddy bear in bed instead of a baseball. But again, that's just a guess. Can we get back to the fucking video already? It's been almost two minutes, and we haven't even spoken about Pokemon yet. Donald's right. It's nice that we spoke about it since nobody knows who won the World Series since it was the lowest rated World Series in history. But we are here to become Pokemon masters, not Sports Center anchors, Donald. Would you like to redo the intro and say what's happening this episode? Thank Lowest you, TV Obama. Ratings ever George, because everyone knew shut we the would fuck win. up. No more baseball. And I will take you right back to the Silph Co. if you talk about fucking baseball again. All right, Donald, you made your point. No more Texas Rangers. Thank you, George. So anyway, hey, how today about those we New are... York Rangers this season? George, George shut, shut the, fuck, the up. fuck up. All right, I'm sorry. I thought it was funny. I promise I'll be good. Last fucking chance. Anyway, today on the president. Anybody play, know how Queens Park Rangers is doing this season? Where's my fucking 12 gauge? Okay, okay, Donald, take a breath. Look at me, it's your friend Obama, it's all right. I is it Barack, is it really all right? Of course it is, now just take a minute and let's breathe. Now let's picture your perfect world. It's a beautiful day in your walled city. The borders are all closed. You just got finished throwing paper towels off your balcony to people waving Trump. 2024 flags. Wow, that does actually sound like a perfect day. And after all of that, you sit down on your movie theater style recliner and you decide to watch some of your favorite TV shows. Oh yes, I do need to watch some Inuyasha and Sword Art online, mine is season two. In your perfect world, Donald, season two never happened. They skipped that disaster and went straight from everybody trapped in the game waking up and straight to the Gun Gale online season. Oh my God, it really is my perfect world. But before you go to bed, Donald, you have time for your favorite show in the world, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Oh yes, the Rangers. Wait a minute, the Rangers. Oh fuck you, Obama, you piece of shit. Oh my fucking God, he actually got him. <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry, Trump. We actually all met up before this episode and planned this out. We are sorry, but you have to admit that was hilarious. Oh, come on, Donald. Don't go all silent on us. For real. Hey, Donald. Are you in there? Are you in there? Are you in there? Are you in there? Jesus Christ, what the hell is that noise? What's going on down there, Tucker? I'm just checking it now. Ew. All right, then. Well, looks to be an error in the simulation software. Donald malfunctioned from, let's see, looks like an anger overload. How pitiful, even in a simulation, that orange jackass still can Alt F4. Just reboot him quickly. If he remains offline too long, the carbonite will unfreeze. Yes, Master Putin, I've already rebooted the software. Everything looks to be all right now. That's good. Has anybody in the United States found out these three are missing? Not at all. Melania would only notice if the bank account got shut off. Michelle is still on that two month, 
spa holiday that we made it look like Obama gave her as a surprise gift. And Kamala is happy to act as president while making it look like Biden is still around. Excellent. Everything is going according to plan. <laughs> Donald, are you all right? Please don't tell me you stroked out there. Uh, what? What the hell happened? What's going on? You kind of just went blank there for a minute. Here you can have the controller back. We were just filming episode 14. Thank goodness you're all right, Donald. You really made us worried there. I'm really not sure what happened. Nothing hurts or aches either, so I guess I'm all right. It would appear so. How about you do that intro since you never got to do it earlier? I thought we were letting Bush do the intro in his first episode, but all right then. Hello everybody, and welcome to the President's Play Pokemon Yellow episode 14. It's the big D's turn this episode, and today we're not only gonna take down two gyms, but it's time for Obama to take his shot with Sabrina. What do you mean, take his shot with Sabrina? Oh yeah, that's right, you never heard Bush. A few episodes ago, Michelle left Barack for Paul from Seno. Our boy is a single man right now. After she left him, we went to a club in Saffron City, and Obama was practically drooling over Sabrina. He's been working on his pickup lines for weeks now, preparing for this day. Maybe we just forget about it. She'll never go for a guy like me. Why in the world would you say that? You're a former president that has done really well for himself in life. She would be lucky to have you, bro. I just don't know. I'm not ready, goddammit. Of course you're ready. I can even show you some more advanced moves now that you've passed my beginner's class. I think you're ready for one of my favorite moves. I call it find the classified document. Wow, Obama. He hasn't even taught me that one yet. If you don't want to, though, I can always dye your hair green like hers. Maybe she would like that. No, no more moves and no hair dye. I mean, seriously, Joe, do you really think I would look good with green hair? I mean, Xbox made the black and green color scheme work out pretty good, so I think it would work. If only they could make a system that even came close to the quality of PlayStation. First off, fuck you for that comment. And secondly, no, I'm going to do this myself. I'm ready. I will win over my psychic beauty this episode. We're leaving her gym with her badge and her number. That's the spirit, Obama. Worst case scenario, we can always use the red button on her gym, if you know what I mean. Why would you use the ice cream button on her gym? Oh, silly George, the blue button is the ice cream button. The red button rains down hell on a target of my choice. Um, Biden, don't you remember you switched the buttons when you took office? I did what now? Yeah, Joe, they're right. You made the blue button, the nuke button, and the red button, the ice cream button, because the red button was closer to you. Is that why nobody brings me ice cream when I hit the blue button? Whoops, my bad. Well, I guess we should issue our apologies to Yemen right about now for our dipshit in chief. Also, with how much Biden wanted ice cream, he probably doubled. No tripled the number of strikes you two ordered. I think it's clear, though, that I'm the real victim here because I never got any of that ice cream I requested. Think of all the chocolate chocolate chip I could have had. It's enough to make anybody cry. Yeah, the real victims definitely wasn't everybody who had to endure the hellfire you inflicted on them from your probably endless ice cream requests. I'm so glad you agree with me, buddy. All right, then. Before all the war crimes get completely exposed, how about we take a minute before the gym battle with Koga to thank the amazing viewers who contributed to the channel. Sounds like a good idea to me. First off, we would like to thank Tanner Riker for his incredibly generous $10 donation during the episode 13 premiere. You can definitely have that number one fan emoji you selected for this episode. Our next shout out goes to Kevin Bolanos, who very generously contributed $9.99 during our community stream, where we played Jackbox with Dilkson, 327, game producer six in all of our amazing communities. And last but not least, a shout out to Presidential Gaming Drive for donating four uh, funny shapedies and 99, I guess, smaller funny shapedies also during our community stream. To be honest, I have no idea what that is either. Is that British money? I just looked up British money symbol on Google and it looks like it's the, and I quote, pound symbol for sterling. So is it pounds or sterlings and is it worth anything? Hopefully it's the sterlings one because the last thing we need is more pounds since we have Donald on our team. Oh, fuck you, Sleepy Joe. I'll pound you if you make another fat joke. Pause. Anyway, it looks like it's like six American dollars. So thank you again, Presidential Gaming Drive for your British people money. Having non-confusing money was just one of the reasons we wanted to have our own country. And if you want to be a part of the next community stream or just interact with any of the best President AI Pokemon creators, join the Discord in the description below. 
Even British people, as you can see, are allowed. Can we get through one transition without insulting or making fun of any countries or groups? Rhetorical question, don't even answer that. All right, Donald, it's just about time to battle Koga. How are you feeling? Feeling. Pretty good, if I'm being honest with you. I know his ace is Venomoth, so we have a bunch of moves to take that down. I'm not quite sure what his other Pokemon are, but we should be able to beat them as well. I've been waiting a long time for this gym battle, and I don't care how underleveled we are, I'm taking this ninja bitch down. Which Pokemon are you thinking of using in this one? Our team may be Biden. Is he going to the PC for some special Pokemon, or did you forget who our party members are? Oh, sorry, George. That's one other thing we forgot to mention. When we do gym battles, we limit ourselves to using the amount of Pokemon that the gym leader has to make things a little more challenging. So if Koga has three Pokemon, for instance, we can only use three. To answer your question, Joe, now that George is caught up, I'm definitely leading off with Starmie. Me too should have a type advantage against any Pokemon this Naruto cosplayer has to throw at us. It took 14 episodes, but it's finally time for my first gym battle. Fear my wrath, Koga, it's Trump time. Four Pokemon and a level 44 to start? Jeez, this might be an actual challenge. It's a non-evolved purple fuzzball. I still bet we could finish it in one shot. Damn, our Mewtwo is really amazing. What a shot, what a start. A good start, but it's not time to celebrate just yet, Joe. Might as well be if he keeps sending out these worthless bugs. No need to change Pokemon or even the attack for that matter. Psychic, here we go. Goddamn, eight levels higher and still a one-hit knockout. Starmie is special and not the type that Joe is. Is this a fucking joke? Another goddamn Venonat? Am I in the Fuchsia City gym or the Viridian Forest? I've waited this long for this. My talent is being wasted here. If he had four Pokemon, he definitely could have gone with Venonat, Weezing, Muck, and Venomoth. Maybe they thought the level difference would make it irrelevant. But regardless, here we are. Maybe our team is just that good. Since Starmie hit level 39, I'm gonna mix it up a little and bring in Blackhawk. Fly should take care of this moth, no problem. Oh no, it's copying Mewtwo and using Psychic. Damn sneaky ninjas. Be careful, Blackhawk. Holy cow, 12 levels lower and not even half the bar. Blackhawk is truly a force to be reckoned with. And now he resorts to using Double Team. That's a dick move to use Evasion Moves Koga. We still got the hit off, so no worries. That attack hit really well. I was hoping it would kill in one shot, but that's gonna be hard when we're facing a level 50. One more fly and we have our soul badge. Bro, are you kidding me with another double team? This guy is just pathetic. Take the L like a man and fuck here we go with the attack missed bullshit. He's literally just spamming double team now. Even a 100% accuracy move is going to be less than 50% right now. That means Fly is going to have the accuracy of a one hit knockout move pretty much. Seeing we're going to be here all day, I guess I can take a nap. The odds may be against us, Biden, but I believe in Black Hawk. This next attack is going to land. Oh, fuck yeah, and boys there. We fucking go, Koga is defeated. The soul badge is ours. Great job not losing your cool and leaving in our boy to finish the job, Trump. You talked a big game about your gym battling a few episodes ago and you backed it up here. I have full faith you're our man to take on my love. He was a bitch in the battle, and he's a bitch right now. He can't even face us after losing. Let's just get the hell out of here. This is a dojo for losers. If I just lost a battle with four Pokemon, all at least six levels higher than my opponent, I would probably be salty too. The TM for Toxic could potentially come in handy later on, so we should definitely throw that on one of our team members. I'll figure that one out before we sign off this episode. Right now, my focus is purely on Saffron City and our sixth badge. Psychic Pokemon are no joke, and I need to be at the top of my game if we want to be heading to Cinnabar Island next episode. Just so you can get your head on straight, and I can finish working on my lines after your battle with Sabrina. How about we take a look at last week's community question results? I almost forgot we did that, but there's literally no chance more people would rather have done my option. Walking on Legos after stubbing both your big toes, that's easily worse than a few angry minutes, and losing some SR in a dead game. You sure about that, Trump? How about you check the results for yourself? We had 101 votes and it was overwhelming that my scenario was far worse. Next time you step to me, how about making sure you're ready to play? Damn, Donald. You got absolutely cooked in that one. I thought we would need burn heels next episode, but not today. 
Another election rigged against me? Color me shocked. It's just becoming the norm at this point. Well, I guess I underestimated the amount of Overwatch players in our community that should have been an easy dub for me. Keep molding Trump, but Gigi, an attempt was made, I suppose. Oh, look at Mr. Hiding in a closet thinking he's so high and mighty. Want to run it back tough guy? I'll even the score this week for sure. What are you thinking for a poll question this week, Donald? I'll never turn down an easy two and oh. All right then, I think I got one for you. A week ago, the newest Pokemon TGG set Paradox Rift dropped. And I, George, will go as far to say this is easily the best set to drop during the Scarlet and Violet era so far. The art on the illustration rares are incredible. I packed the Goat Larry on the booster box I opened and I was in heaven. Could care less that it's only a $4 card. When you pull your chase, it's like you're in heaven. It's not a bad set at all. But bro, it didn't even have a $90 card on release day. Shows what the community as a whole thinks about it. I guess you pulled a Biden and were sleeping through 151 about a month ago. My favorites, there were Pikachu and Zapdo. A truly goaded set for a goaded collector such as myself. Well, this one should definitely be much closer than last time. I'm with Trump on this one. I've already started my master set on Paradox Rift, and I can't wait to have that completed. You do realize they had a binder collection for 151, because that's easily the set you should be master setting, right, Biden? Bush is clearly going to dominate this poll again. We want these to be close, not a blowout. It's not often that Biden gives a 200 IQ take, but this is one of them. That binder collection was just a cash grab. And that set was just to get Gen 1ers to empty their wallets. The cultured will agree that Paradox Rift is the goaded set of this era so far. You know the drill, everyone. Head over to the community tab and place your vote. What is your favorite set of Scarlet and Violet so far? Do you agree with the two Neanderthals who say Paradox Rift? Or are you truly a refined individual like Obama and myself and know that 151 is truly the correct answer? Make your voice be heard, and we will, of course, reveal the results next week. What about the people who like the Scarlet and Violet base set or Paldea evolved better, though? We asked them politely yet firmly to leave. I'm just kidding. You all are welcomed here. Just I think it's time for you to see your eye doctor because your prescriptions have clearly changed. I never knew you were so passionate about the TCG Obama. I'll keep that in mind next time we rip some packs. I definitely am, but also I wanted to get involved in the community poll for once as well. It looks like fun and you and Bush can't hog it every week. That sounds fair to me, partner. Sorry if I tried to get in there two weeks in a row. It really does get competitive. How about next week you and Biden can get a 1v1 so that we each have two results? Can I get a real opponent instead of this 151 simp? All right, Biden. I was going to go easy on you, but now you will face the true wrath of the 44th. There will be nothing except a pile of dust where you sit right now. I mean, if we're being honest, he's about to turn 420, so he's going to turn to dust any day now. I hope he can make it to the poll next week. Nice way to speak to your teammate, Donald. Good thing our take is based as fuck, so we can't lose, but fuck you. Just make sure you don't throw this battle against Sabrina, please. Don't worry, old man. I got this all under control. There ain't no way we are leaving this building without a badge. You know, Donald, if it really is all under control, do you think we could use George in the gym battle? You guys have only used Pikachu in the battle against Misty, and I think he deserves some action. I understand his typing isn't perfect for these gym battles, but I still want to see him. Definitely scales the difficulty seeing we're going to be underleveled and using a special attacker against a gym of strong special stat psychic Pokemon. But for you, George, you got it. Pikachu will lead off, and we'll take it from there. He definitely won't feature in the Viridian Gym battle against ground types, and I'm not sure if we'll see him in the fight against Blaine. So let's do it. I could always use another opportunity to flex anyway. Thanks, buddy. You won't regret it. George is an underrated machine, much better than an Electrode or Magneton for sure. I mean, that's debatable, Bush. Don't get me wrong. George has been a solid member of the team. But he's an unevolved Pokemon that has lower stats than either of those two. He's on the team because if you don't use Pikachu and Pokemon Yellow, you're a thick, fat, slow bro who is an infestation on the good people of Kanto. Now I'm going to use Hold Back, so I don't knock out anybody right now, but I'm going to hone my claws so I can lash out and unleash an attack order to end the career of anybody who thinks a Pikachu is the best Electric-type Pokemon in this game. 
Bro, you ain't GP6. Don't ever make my ears bleed like that again. Oh, come on, Trump. That was a pure fire blast. Cinnabar Jim just sent me a message on Indeed asking if I was interested in the gym leader position. When I do a remix, they call it a fire spin. Drones, flamethrower, Obama, might be it's hot, not but fire I'm... in the slightest. It's colder than a mega Obama snows blizzard. Please stop. Barack, we would tell you if it was fire. It's not. You have no rhymes. We're literally about to battle. Sabrina and the clock will hit zero before you even take a shot. Obama, we're your wingmen. We wouldn't lie to you. Now let me take the lead here. It's time to battle Sabrina. I'm gonna win, then you can go for it. Okay, okay, I'm cool, I'm cool. Good luck, Trump. How's my hair? <sighs> Literally never changes. All right, Pikachu, show this Eminem wannabe what a real electric beast looks like. You got this, Donald. Set the tone. It's time for badge number six. Here we go. POTUS, here we go. Good luck, Sabrina. That shade of green looks beautiful on you. Oh my God, he's gonna fumble the bag. I hope she chokes me out with that whip so I don't have to endure your cringe anymore. Holy shit, I can only dream for her to use that whip on me. Obama, shut the fuck up. Trump has to focus here. Her first Pokemon is a level 50 for fuck's sake. I mean, maybe it's like the Venonauts, where who cares what the level is since it's unevolved. Oh, wait, never mind. Just kidding. That Thunderbolt did nothing. Looks like we have a genuine speed tie right there. And let's fucking go. Huge critical hit. One more and down goes Abra. It even wasted its turn on using an X defense. Sabrina's choking harder than Obama is going to. Be nice to her, George. It's a huge battle, and mistakes will be made. Great try there, Abra. I'm sure you'll win next time. Holy shit, shut up, Obama. But great call on Pikachu there, Bush. Since our accuracy is lowered, I'm going to switch out and let what's very quickly becoming our ace in gym battles take on Kadabra. Blackhawk has ice in his wings with the battles he's won against Gloom and Venom Moth. Now that was a smart use of that X-Defend. 12 levels lower, slower than the opponent, and Fly is nerfed. We might need to switch here. Have you ever heard of the phrase, believe in Black Hawk Joe? Take that freezing cold takeout back and give it the old yeller treatment. It's just alakazam to go, boys. I know this line of Pokemon are a bunch of glass cannons, but wow, that was fast. I like the decision to let it ride Trump. Black Hawk can definitely take advantage of that defense stat. Wrap this one up. Hopefully this doesn't hurt too bad, and holy shit, that did nothing. A level 50 Alakazam can barely hurt our level 39 Black Hawk with a psychic attack. It's in the fucking bag, boys. Looks like she's going with the X defend route again. She knows she's on the ropes. Two more attacks should do it. It's kind of a turnoff, if I'm being honest, seeing how bad she's battled. At least she did something smart and used to recover with Black Hawk in the air. The aerial assault continues, and the critical hit assault continues too. I'm gonna try and get Cheeky to end this with a quick attack and end it fuck so close. Ah, uh, never mind, doesn't matter. She didn't use recover, so that's all she wrote, boys. Six badges down, two badges to go. I expect payments for that master class by next week. Incredible job there, Trump. Now, if you excuse me, I think it's my turn. Good luck, Obama. We're all rooting for you, and we all got your back. We believe in you, buddy. Take it away. All right, him. Thank you very much for this Marsh Badge, Sabrina. My name's Barack, and if I may, I just needed to tell you that I saw you the other day at the club, and I think you're the most beautiful woman I've ever laid my eyes on. Your mastery of the psychic arts is nothing short of incredible. I just wish I could gaze into your blue eyes until I fall asleep every night and until the end of my life, Sabrina. Oh my God, you gross no get out. Wait, what? Sabrina, why would you say that? We could be so happy together. Dude, you're like 60 and I'm 21. That's disgusting. Get the fuck out of here before I call the cops. Obama, I think we need to go fam. I'm sorry, but it didn't work. No, wait, Sabrina, please give me a chance. All right, get him out of here, boys. Thank you for the battle, miss. Let's wrap this up before it gets any more sad and Obama exposes his lack of riz. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. If Obama can compose himself by next week, it's his turn as he brings us down to Cinnabar Island. We hope to see you all there. Barack, tell you what, buddy. I'm going to do you a solid as soon as we leave this gym. Awesome job this episode, Donald. And if you made it this long, thank you for sticking around as always. The link to join the Discord is in the description below. We'll see you next week. Thanks, Joe. Had to keep up with your great play. Don't forget to vote in the poll on the community tab and have a great week, everyone. Uh, yeah, whatever, I guess. Have a good week or um, uh, thanks for stopping by or something. I, I, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know if I'll ever forget about her. <laughs> All right, John, Joe, we're, we're out of here. Uh, what are you doing for me exactly? I called Secret Service to say the Saffron Gym has oil. Hey, look, the drone's here.